Hi, James at CG Cars here with a walk around video of this fantastic little 2013 Suzuki Swift 1.2. Car is in outstanding condition and drives really well. We're going to do a very detailed walk around video for you now so you know exactly what you'd be coming to see. We're massive fans of the Suzuki Swift here at CG Cars. In fact, I drive one about myself as a daily driver. We find them bulletproof reliable, loads of fun to drive, really popular little cars. So starting at the front of the car, it is a beautiful metallic blue. See with the sunlight in it there. All the paintwork has a really good shine to it all the way around, but we'll like I say, look at it closely so you know exactly what you'll be coming to see. The headlights, lovely and clear. No yellow, yellowing, no condensation, no cracks. The front grille is all a nice glossy black. The badge has got no peeling on it at all. The lower grille again, nice glossy black. There isn't really any damage to the front edge of the bumper there. Maybe one little chip there if I'm particularly picky, which we will be. Let's say we know, so you'll know exactly how the car looks before you get here. The plastic trim either side is nice there, or the silver is good. No cracking or damage to the plastic trim there. Neither on this side, edge of the bumper there, no scrapes or scratches from any walls or anything like that. So the front end of the car, really good condition. The bonnet is pretty much free of any stone chips as well. There's no obvious stone chips at all. It's free of dings, dents, scrapes, scratches. Going into the passenger side of the car, the front wing there again, excellent. You can see really good and reflective. That metallic paint is really popping. Your wheel trims are in nice condition. They're not scraped or scratched up. Plenty of tread on the tire there as well. The wing mirror cap has no scrapes or scratches on the end of it. The passenger door, again, really good. As we look across the surface there, there's no dings or dents or scrapes or scratches. The edge of the door is pretty much free of chips as well, as is the door handle. The rear passenger door, again, excellent. As we look down the side of the car, no obvious dings and dents or scrapes or scratches. I will get repetitive, I'm afraid. There's only so many ways you can describe the panels. The rear quarter panel here, again, excellent. Nothing really to note there at all. The wheel trim on the back here again, no damage to that. Plenty of tread on the tyre. The rear light on the passenger side again, nice and clear. No cracks, no water in it. No yellowing or fading. The corner of the bumper free of any scrapes and scratches. Looking across the back panel here, your badges are nice. There's no peeling of the chrome off of any of the badges. Again, no dings or dents across the boot panel there the bumper across the edge here is free of scrapes and scratches as well there's maybe a couple of small marks here again if i'm being a bit picky nothing obvious you'd have to be pointed out to you coming as the driver's side of the car the rear quarter panel here again really excellent nice and reflective no dings no dents no scrapes the rear light there is again clear no cracking water ingress corner of the bumper excellent there's one little chip there and a couple along the edge here if I'm particularly picky but they are very low down you wouldn't normally notice those at all the wheel trim again free of any damage plenty of tread on that tire too the rear passenger door excellent door handle free of scrapes and scratches edge of the door is free of chips the door panel itself Again, no dings or dents or scrapes or scratches to point out. Uh, driver's door, again, door handle free of any chips. Edge of the door, pretty much free of chips as well. The door skin, there's one little, again, if I'm being very picky, one little dent I can just make out on the edge of the door there. But otherwise, actually, sorry, you can get it better here. If I get it from that angle, there's a little crease just there. The door overall, nice and reflective. Again, the paint is excellent. You can see the reflection of the car next to us really clearly there. The mirror cap, free of any scrapes and scratches. And the final panel there, the front driver's wing is again excellent. No scrapes, scratches, dents or dings to note there. The wheel trim, very good, no damage to that. And plenty of tread on the tyre again. Apologies, that wasn't the final panel. We have the roof panel, which again is excellent. I don't need to note any damage to that at all. Again, really nice and reflective. No dings, no dents, no scratches. So if we step back from the car and look at it in a normal manner, I've picked out some very minor things. Overall, for a 2013, the car is in outstanding condition. So if you walk around it in a normal manner, you'd say it's pretty much 
immaculate, which I don't say lightly. Really, really good condition. So let's take a look at the interior of the car. I'm pleased to say that's also excellent. The seats are free of any staining, any burn holes. Very good condition. There's a very minor bit of wear if I'm very picky up here, just on the on the top of the trim there. And a little bit on the bolster down here actually. A bit of wear on the bolster, but overall they are in excellent condition. The steering wheel, there's a little bit of wear. They do these on these Swifts, a little bit of silver goes sometimes, but all your buttons are in good condition. You can see exactly what they do. That's your stereo controls there. You've got your electric windows there with your electric mirrors. All the plastics there are excellent. No scraping or scratching to those. Your traction control on and off button down there and your headlight adjustment, all good, not worn through at all. All your dials are in lovely condition. You've got your CD radio here, all in excellent condition, all the buttons as you'd want them to be, not worn through at all. All of your blower controls, again, nowhere there. You've got a USB input down there, so you can plug your uh, phone in via USB if you wish. We're going to put a little Bluetooth adapter in here as well. A uh, little nice little upgrade for you, so you'll be able to play Bluetooth through the stereo. But again, all the plastics are excellent. They aren't scraped and scratched up and worn through. The gear knobs showing very little wear to it. Going to the back seats again, really good condition. These show no wear at all on them. There's no staining, no burn holes, all in excellent condition. The carpets are fantastic. They aren't worn through at all. In fact, the back looks like it's very rarely been sat in at all, to be honest. All your plastics are excellent. They're not worn through. And then going into the boot of the car. Your carpet's all in nice condition. The plastics, again, are free of scraping. Seats have a 60-40 split, so you can put them down if you want to have more room. Underneath the engine bay, again, nice, clean and tidy. We have the 1.2 chain-driven engine. We find these really reliable units. Chain-driven means there's no rubber cam belts to worry about, no expensive cam belt changes to do. The chains are life of the engine, and we find them really, um, really reliable. I must say my personal one's done over 110,000 miles without any issues at all. Servicing super cheap, because all you need to do is get air filter oil and oil filter changed plenty of room for mechanics to work around the engine bay if they do need to anything that keeps the cost down as well and these 1.2s are quite peppy they are quite fun little cars to drive so we have two remote keys if we pop them in the ignition uh, the exact mileage 68,975 like I say mine's done nearly double that mileage without any problems at all if we turn the key starts on the button Settles down to a nice idle, nice steady idle. It's not bouncing up and down or anything like that. No warning lights other than the fact that I haven't got my seatbelt on, the handbrake's on, and we're low on fuel. If I give it a little bit of blip of the throttle, revs cleanly, and settles back down to a nice clean idle. Isn't darting about the place or erratically idling at all. Uh, we've done our test drive, we've done an hour's worth of test drive, and it drove really, really nicely, no problems whatsoever. So overall, we've got a car in really nice condition inside and out. The mileage is low. These are fun little cars to drive, but very economical as well. The car will be coming out with a brand new MOT and a three month, 3,000 mile warranty, which can be used at any VAT registered garage. Please take time to read our reviews, both on Google and Facebook. You'll find we are five star rated. Part exchange is welcome, and we can also help with finance. Should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Many thanks for watching our video and we hope to see you soon.